In this video, let's take a look at what it would take to create a an extrusion along a path. So you can create a really cool, cool shapes uh, with this technique. So what I'm going to do is go to curves, grab my EP curve, and let's just create a shape. So I'm just going to do a swirl, kind of like a Milky Way galaxy kind of thing. Just a fun swirl. So I'm going to press uh, enter when I'm done and I can definitely go to um, vertex and move them around if I wanted to press W and you can reposition them. Maybe you weren't um, happy with your initial uh, shape so you can uh, always adjust it and let's say you are happy and now what you want to do is you want to extrude uh, geometry along this path creating something really interesting so let's go ahead and do that so let's first decide uh, go to our poly modeling uh, shelf and let's see which shape uh, we could use maybe let's use something round like uh, the cylinder I'm gonna drag my cylinder go to poly count and you know what I'm gonna turn my caps to zero and let's create a low poly one so maybe um, let's go with eight. So I'm going to use eight subdivisions and now I'm going to take my rotation tool and just kind of rotate it aligning with the position of the end point here. So maybe something like that should work. It doesn't need to be precise but something along these lines. And I'm going to scale it just a little bit. And so essentially what I'm looking to do is take this shape and extrude it along all this uh, the spiral path, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into face mode, delete all the faces except this one. I'm going to select this face, hold down shift key, select my path. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here called extrude. So I'm going to extrude it, go to my divisions, and let's pump this up all the way to 25. And if we wanted to, we can even do more. Maybe we want to type in 100. All right, so another thing we could do is go to Poly uh, Extrude Curve Attributes, and we can taper this down if we wanted to, make it something even more interesting. We can twist it. All right, so let's say I am uh, happy with this really cool uh, shape. And without using it, uh, as a, without extruding it along the path, modeling this would not be uh, fun at all. So let's go ahead and actually go to object mode, and let's um, go to uh, edit, delete by type, and we'll delete our history, and that will disconnect our shape from our path. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my wireframe so I could see my topology. And let's go ahead and clean this end up. So I'm going to delete, I'm just going to delete all these pieces here. Just so I can clean this up. I'm going to delete my path. I don't need it anymore. And now what I can do is go to my edges, select all these edges, and do a bridge. And that will close my hole. So that's one way of doing it. If you don't want to do it this way, you can of course also extrude it. And if you extrude it, you can actually do something like this. Go to uh, Select, Convert to Verts, and then do a Merge to Center. And this way you don't have any uh, strange geometry. But this is a really cool way to create fun uh, shapes. And uh, so I hope you found this uh, helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.